Welcome back folks, my name's Anthony Valentine the Camper Nerd. I'm sorry to disappoint you but I'm going away on my annual holidays, much needed, it's been a very busy year, yeah, supplying my existing customers and subscribers. I'd just like to show you a few vehicles that have arrived and I'm happy to take WhatsApp or text messages to secure anything if you so wish to pay a deposit over the next couple of weeks. Um, and Steve, the habitation guy, if you wanted to visit over the next couple of weeks, will meet you or failing that, I can deliver it and meet you in a couple of weeks on my return from Cyprus. We'll start with this one. This, wow, this has just arrived in this morning. Fresh at Camper Nerd, wait for it, a 1999 Royale SE 630. So it's got more or less the U-shaped lounge at the back. It's got a small table in the center, or you can remove that and put a cushion so you've got the U-shaped. It's got the side dinette, uh, and it's got the double bed above the cab. However, the double bed has only got the, it hasn't got the mattress or the wooden floor to the bed. So I'm just trying to establish. So this one, wait for it. It's only had three owners and two of those is dad who has had it from two years old. He has had it dry stored in his barn for 20 years. Unfortunately, the paperwork trail is very thin. It's only done 19,000 miles and he's been self-servicing it for 20 years. So I'm trying to trace a little bit of paperwork for you. I do know it's just had a full, off the dealer I got it from, timing belt water pump. So we're rest assured on that. It's only done 19,000 miles. Feel free to check up the information on DVLA. The number plate, wait for it, is FF, I like to think Freddie Flintstone, 1478. And again, I've mentioned this many times, these are when Perjo, this is the, the Fiat Decato, is exactly the same as the Perjo Boxer. I call them Freddy Flintstone mechanics. No DPFs, no engine management lights, no computers. Uh, good old fashioned engineering. Uh, this will be going on sale between 22 and 23,000 pound. Feel free to WhatsApp me. I've just drove it in this morning and the clutch is right on the edge. It's not slipping but it is something that we'll want attending to. Hopefully just adjustment, at the worst it will want a clutch sometime later this year maybe, or if you drive gentle next year. So that's something to discuss. So my name's Anthony Valentine, the Camper Nerd, 0798 526 1078, and you can get me on WhatsApp or feel free to text me and I'll be able to reply. I'll be checking in every day, um, even in Cyprus for the next couple of weeks. Let's see if we can bring the camera around and just Quick show you inside. And again, on the number plates, I've had to pay a little bit extra for the number plates. So you can have the number plates as well, depending on price negotiated. Oh, it's got the original carpets. We'll just put them on the floor for now. So there's the original carpets, a brand spanking new. This is a 99, 24 years old, would you believe? I'll go around the back to begin with. Wow, I did say. This is something special. It's like brand new. It's literally like brand new. So this will table will curl out and fold out into a large table, or you can remove that section, have a filling cushion there, and then you've got the U-shape. Or I remember having one of these personally myself for a year, and we made the bed out and left it. So that was like having a fixed bed. If I can just walk round past Mrs. Nerd, and I'll get to the, if you can come round here, and I'll just uh, show off the dinette. So yeah, it's got a side dinette. Again, these come out. That will make into a double bed. And here we have the room, but unfortunately the, the piece of wood that was here is missing. So it wouldn't take much imagination. I can get that organized if you so wish. For a, two pieces of wood here, a thin mattress, and then you've got room there for a double bed. So two, four, six at the back. It's never been used. Cooker is like a brand new. Everything's lovely. Okay, let's have a look at what more has just arrived. I'll put those carpets in shortly. Uh, we've got a, an auto sleeper clubman that's just arrived at the back, if the camera can see. I'll have you more information. That's just arrived, so I'll give you more information shortly on that one. Uh, Trigano Tribute, a lady has just viewed that and paid a deposit. So I don't think that's for sale, but however, I have been told off one of my dealers, I've got another one, similar model due in. Oh, 2008, Aroma Home High Low, that's just arrived. 
couple of days ago, I've drove that just over 200 miles, drives wonderful. I took it in for MOT this morning. Hey presto, you can check out on the DVLA website, Hotel Victor 08, Whiskey Mike Golf. Straight through an MOT, not a single advisory. It's the 1.6 turbo diesel. I can just, the camera can just have a quick look inside. This is the Pullman version. So on the Pullman version, this seat can be removed. You've got the table above, and then that has a forward facing three point seat belt at the rear and at the front you've got a lap belt so you've got four traveling seats and seat belts and that's the high low version 1.6 turbo diesel i think that's had three or four maybe five owners five owners i think that one's had um, it's due in for a habitation in a couple of days time when i'm on holiday so i'll have a full habitation service it will carry my full warranty uh, and I think that one's going to be £22,000. But again, that'll be a free delivery anywhere in the United Kingdom, plus my usual terms and warranty dealer backup. Uh, this Roma home's going out to a, a lady in the morning. What else is... Oh, we've just got a, an auto sleeper Tobaz arrived. That arrived last Monday. That's going to go in the workshop while I'm away. Now, that has done 162,000 miles, but you wouldn't think it. Typical VW T4, bomb-proof engineering, 2.4 diesel and with it being the topaz it's the long wheelbase with the full wet room shower room and toilet at the back uh, i think that's only had three or four owners um, i think there was a few advisories half a dozen advisories so while i'm away the garage opposite is going to go through it and they'll check everything out so that'll be on sale in a couple of weeks time when i come back feel free to whatsapp me and be on the waiting list um, ah lovely 2002, this arrived about a month ago. 2002, JC Leisure Conversion. I think the last guy's had it for 15 years. So this is on sale, 12,000 pound. The reason I say it arrived a month ago, we went through the habitation and the only thing that was not working was the Propex heater. So we've sent the Propex heater off to Propex themselves on the south coast and we're just awaiting for them. There's a backlog of heaters being fixed and getting parts so we're just waiting for that to arrive. Hopefully I'll have that back in the post before I return from Cyprus. So this is £12,000 and I can tell you it's like brand new inside. So the last guy has had it for 15 years. I'll open the side door. Just check the MOT history. Golf Yankee 02 November Hotel Alpha. Now I've slept since, but this coming about a month ago, it had a great MOT history, but I do remember there was a, it had just been MOT'd. So I had my man to give his opinion. He said the last MOT man was being pedantic. So he's done a couple of the jobs, cleared up one, and I'm fairly sure it's either got an advisory, I can't remember now, it's a month ago, it's either got a new MOT with no advisories or maybe just one minor advisory. Again, I'm happy to put my name to it. I'll deliver this anywhere in the United Kingdom. It'll carry three months warranty total and six months on the engine and gearbox. And the front seats swivel round. All the cushions are like brand new. And the Propex system is underneath here. And this folds out and makes into a large double bed. The grill, cooker, everything is like brand spanking new. The only thing on a couple of the brass knobs... We're just showing you where I am renowned for my fussiness levels. So I just put you a couple of new brass knobs and rosettes on. Yeah, so that's this one. What else have I got to show you? Oh, what have we got here? Something very unique. If your camera can come round and span round. Right. A Citroen C15. This is the very last of the run out model. 2005. Wait for it, diesel, drum roll, automatic. I think there was just under two million C15s left the factory. Not a single automatic, but Campanerd has got the only one in Europe. If you want to prove me wrong, feel free and comment down below. But I do believe I've got the only one. 
so we're not quite sure what we, the, we got it into the garage. It's been converted very well. So one of two things has happened. They've either, we think it's a Peugeot 405. So they've either put a Peugeot 405 automatic gearbox in. I drove it back from London. Perfectly fine. Lovely. Or they've got a 405 diesel and gearbox and put it in as one unit. So a previous owner has done that. But yeah, it's lovely. It's all nice inside. I don't know whether the camera can just uh, scan in. Just a quick peek that everything's presentable. Again, this will be having a full habitation service and checks carried out while I'm away. So that's an automatic Roma home and that will be approximately 12 and a half to 13,000 pound, depending on which deal you wanted, whether you wanted the delivery, uh, the full new MOT, but we can discuss that. You've got my number, 0798. 5261078. My name's Anthony Valentine, the Camper Nerd. I'll be back from Cyprus. When are we back, Mrs. Nerd? 19th. 19th of June. So if you can give me one or two days to recover from 15 days of sangria, I'll be happy to uh, take phone calls on the 21st. Give me one day to breathe. So 21st of June onwards, I'll be happy to answer any phone calls. Between now and then, I'm quite happy to text and I'll even reply back to you or make you a phone call when I get chance on my holidays. Okay, I'll catch you on that next video. Okay, just a little add on to the video. I forgot about this one that also arrived. This arrived two or three weeks ago, wait for it. Left hand drive T4 Westphalia. So for those that may or may not know, VW, they only had one official camper van and always have been in that state. In other words, you could go into a VW showroom in Germany and get yourself a VW Westphalia. I'm known for my love of auto sleepers, uh, obviously com converted in the United Kingdom, but in Germany, they only have one official camper converter and that's Westphalia. And it's easy to see why the quality and they've been doing them for years. Uh, they definitely did them in the T3s. I've seen lots in the bay windows. I'm not sure about the type, oh, sorry, in the type twos. The type twos definitely were Westphalia and not sure about the split screen about one, but anyway. Yeah, so this is a left-hand drive. Um, it's done 90,000 kilometres. So we divide that what by 1.6 and that will give us the miles. So we're talking approximately 60,000 miles. I do believe there's only one or two more in the country for sale and they've both done 300,000 kilometres, which is testament to VW and obviously the durability of this engine. It's a 2.4, it's not the turbo, so it is slow. That said, I was brought it home. I brought this home over 200 miles. You're doing 60-ish, 60, 55, it's a happy speed, but you can do 60-ish all day long. You can even creep up to the national speed limit, but with it not being the turbo, and obviously the bull nose across the top, it's a bit like a brick going through the wind. However, the condition of it is not bad. It's not bad. There's a, I don't know whether the camera's gonna zoom in. There's a few little paint marks where it's had a bit of paint work, just minor. A uh, couple of little minor marks. What I say that is that th this probably belongs with a VW um, Fanatic and you'll bring it to the next stage, maybe concourse level and show it off at shows. But yeah, the last owner, one UK owner. So the old boy's had it for 10 years. Unfortunately, it's lost a logbook. So we're going to try and apply for a logbook to not add another owner because it's only, it's only got two owners in the United Kingdom. It's 90, an L reg, that's 93, 94. We've HPI'd it. It's all perfect. As I say, it shows that his ownership from only a, one month being registered. So it will have been registered by the UK dealer and then the guy has had it all its life in the United Kingdom. So it spent 20 years in Germany and 10 years in the United Kingdom. Some of the fittings were on, but it was his pride and joy for 10 years. So he's, you know, he's gone perhaps, dare I say, a little bit over the top with a few stickers and badges and extras and gadgets, but it's all there. It's all there. So if we can, oh, I'll just go around. If the camera stays there, I'll just open it up from the inside. All the seats were under cover. So I removed the covers. Hey presto, all like brand new. So if the camera can perhaps bob in. As I say, the seat covers were on here and underneath all the seats are like new. The same with the front. 
I think they're both, if the camera can come around while I open the door, I think both of those swivel round. Uh, it's even got a fan for the back. Now we give it a quick habitation. The only thing that we noticed was the Webasto diesel heater is not working. I've had that checked over by Ribblesdale Auto Electrics in Preston, very close to me here in Lancashire, the, the nationwide main dealer. And they said, unfortunately on this occasion, it will need a new system. So you're probably talking about a thousand pound plus VAT. So you can either go down that route, don't worry about the diesel heater because it's also got the heater in the back that works off the front or obviously you can put a portable heater in or one of these Chinese heaters and they're about £300 a prox supplied and fitted. Or you can just leave it with the original or of course you can take it to Ribblesdale Auto Etrix and they'll put you a new system in. But yeah, it's just the quality. Upstairs in here you've got all the original fittings. You've got a double bed up there so that'll fold down provides a double bed. Uh, what have we got on the side here? We've got a sink or hobs. Oh, we've got both. We've got, got gas hobs, sink, tap, shower. No, it's lovely, this. But as I say, if the camera can span around to the dashboard, it has been his love and pride, and he's just tinkered with it. So he's put a little bit of carbon fibre on the glove box, put a few little bits of extra gadgets in. A bit old-fashioned now, a Tom Tom from years ago. But there you go. Uh, I do like the gear stick. I'm not one for changing things generally, but that's just a nice touch. And all the gears are selected fine, all the original upholstery. So yes, so feel free to contact me 0798 526 1078 and I'm undecided whether to put this on an eBay auction, do the diesel eater or sell it as it is. But I'll be on the phone for the next few weeks so nothing will be happening to it. Okay, I'll catch you on my return from Cyprus. Thanks for watching, folks.